good afternoon, happy Thursday. We're back hitting the pavement again for week number nine. Starting with some cadence drills today. And some just floated in my eye. So let's start with a 15 minute warm up. And then 20 seconds on, 45 seconds rest. 10 times. And then a 15 minute cool down. So just run into where I want to do it. And then we will get going. It's not a bad day today. It's finally stopped raining. Though it's probably still a bit wet. And I feel surprisingly okay. I said we did squats on Monday. And my legs were sore for a few days. I feel good today. So about two thirds into the warm-up. Performance condition. Is it a minus four, which is lovely. It's surprising because I don't feel that bad. But it is what it is. Um, I'm just going to go down to the end here, cross the road, and then up that little hill we've been up before. And the flat place is where we're going to do the cadence drills. 20 seconds on, 45 seconds walk back, 10 times. Bosh. Let's get to it. The ambulance isn't for me. So that's 10 intervals done. Hang on. 10 intervals done. Now just to amble back, back home. 15 minute cool down. Gonna be going at absolutely zero pace. Just gonna walk down the hill and then probably start running when we get over to the side of the road. But I felt okay. My hamstrings and glutes are a little bit sore from squats, lunges and deadlifts over the past few days, but we got it done. That's the important thing. So it's going to take a slow run back, probably not talk on that, and I'll just insert some footage at some point of everything. Nice little montage. Uh, it's warmer than I thought. Even though it's cloudy and overcast, it's still quite humid. So that's nice. Better than it being cold. Better than it raining. So yeah, I will see you tomorrow, hopefully, if I survive today, the run that is, um, for a, what is it, the run that gets quicker, can't remember what it's called, but I'll see you tomorrow for that, uh, yeah, goodbye. Hello, hello, happy Friday, it is, I've already forgotten the name of the run, progression run. Progression run Friday, which involves a bit of a slow pace to start with and then run a faster, harder pace at the end. Nice and easy, but obviously the hardest part is going at an easy pace now. I'm wearing the Boston's it's to help with the, the faster part. It's got to help, help with the slower part as well. Um, I'm not really feeling it. I still feel a little bit ill and I feel like I've lost quite a bit of my fitness or whatever fitness I had. So all the runs are becoming a struggle but we move, we go. So we'll just keep running 
and then we'll speed up. Pretty simple. Enjoy the ride. I'm not really sure what ride it's going to be, but enjoy. This one is something. I don't know what it is, but it's easy pace, seven kilometers, seven minutes a kilometer. And it feels just absolutely awful. I have no idea why, but hey ho, I'll probably ruin like the best two hours of my life on Sunday. So take the rough with the smooth, enjoy. Enjoy it. A bad run is better than no run, I suppose, though at the minute no run was probably better. But we move, we're now at the end of the slow pace and we'll start the, the faster pace soon. Yay! And we are done. Kept up the hard one for seven minutes, which was seven minutes more than I thought I was going to do. So, small win, not the ten, but small win hit like a 5.30 to 6 pace so can't complain now we just cool down walk back to the house and then it's back to work and I'll see you on Sunday for a two hour easy pace run which will definitely be an easy pace run like so easy so easy I may as well be walking it but I won't be so I will see you on Sunday. Good morning. Happy Sunday. It is a long run Sunday today. We have a two hour run in the plan. I have a course set on my Garmin. And we're gonna see where we get to. I obviously have a backup run if I don't like the one on Garmin. Uh, but it's just gonna be a nice, easy run. Hopefully, wouldn't need to throw the pace down. And we'll see how it goes. But starting with usual down here, and then we might end up in a bit of a different place. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, I'll just check in every now and then, and hopefully, not knackered. So we're about 29 minutes in. Feeling all right. Legs feel heavy, but they felt heavy all week. I think it's probably because of the fact I'm running um, Thursday, Friday. Obviously yesterday I was supposed to be playing cricket, but I didn't. And then I'm doing gym stuff Monday and Wednesday, which is all legs. So maybe that's probably why. Maybe we'll adjust it next week and do some of the runs in between. We'll see. Um, but yeah, currently holding like a 7.50 pace. It has slowed down a bit, as I'm desperate to try and keep my heart rate in. And in the green, if you can see that. So we're now on a different bit of road. Um, never ran along here, but over there, it's the Greg's factory from the other videos. So we're kind of going a bit closer to that. Um, when I came last week with Tom, we ran on the other side of the road to that green box over there. And then turned around because I didn't really know where we were going. But I've got... We'll be going 
towards that grey building and then cutting across and then looping back around so should be good so this is all new I have no idea where I am there's a business park there there's a field over there and that's about it I have found my true calling on this run that is right a piggy pool that is where I belong on days like today Let's see if we've got any space for one it's like an hour and ten minutes later and we're back on this road feeling okay feet are a bit sore up rubbing a little bit so I'm not going to do the full two hours but it's all right we're at 12.75k hopefully we'll get to about 14 maybe a little bit more so yeah let's keep going hello hello welcome back um it's a lot later on we have completed the run successfully if i may say so myself we covered 15k in just less than uh two hours it was like one hour 56 i think um basically i plotted a route out on garmin it was supposed to be one uh, 16 kilometers so it probably would have taken two hours ended up being 15 kilometers and took less than two hours obviously it would have taken more than two hours based on my pace um but yeah no that was quite good um, my feet started to hurt a little bit um mainly from a little bit of rubbing from my shoes like sort of on the my heel not my heel my um like the inside of my foot started to hurt a little bit i'm rubbing it as if you can see you obviously can't um so yeah so that was a little bit painful towards the end and i had to stop because i got a stone in my shoe after about 11k so that was fun but but no, it was a good run, longest run I've ever done. Insert yayness here. So that was good, happy with that. And I'll just go through the Garmin stats for this week, if I remember how to record my screen. Let's see, we're doing this live. Cool, so let's go to Garmin Coach. So this week we did uh, 5.61, which was stride repeats, so that was 15 minute warm up and then 10 20 second intervals with a 45 second rest basically walk back to the start and then a 15 minute cool down which kind of was a bit of running bit of walking because it was just awful then the next one was progression run and i must admit i was feeling absolutely awful for this one not like ill just my feet felt like lead bricks um so we're kind of cut it a little bit short if you look here so the run where it says 6.30 was supposed to be 10 minutes, but we'll cut that down. The pace is all right, happy with the pace. And then the cool down was basically just a walk because my legs were just gone at that point. So should have been an hour, ended up being 56 minutes, but I'm not too fussed about that. Um, and then today was an easy run. So it was supposed to be two hours. We did one hour 56, 15 kilometers. It was I was pretty happy with that. Um like held a seven forty six to seven forty two pace. So not gonna complain too much. Felt pretty good actually on that one. Um different lap times, let's have a look through these. So different kilometers, seven twenty five, thirty four, forty five, thirty nine. Most of similar apart from one which was eight twelve and eight oh six. I think I might have been a bit lost at that point. I think I was crossing roads, that's what I'm gonna go with. So yeah, so that was um that was that. And then for next week, we have, no, that's not the one I wanted. We have, hang on, pretty much the same stride repeat progression run in an easy run with less time this time for the easy run, which is interesting. So that's only going to be an hour 40. So we'll do that. Stride repeat progression run. So the same two workouts then. And then there's only like, well, four weeks left until the, the Great North Run. So... So that is that. Thank you so much for watching. If you've made it to the end, drop a random word in the comments. Um, let me know how you're getting on, if you're running, if you're training for anything. Let me know in the comments below. Please make sure to hit the like button. If you want to see more of this, hit the subscribe button. And I will see you next week for some more wonderful running. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.